Denied. Denied. Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back to our channel. For those of you that have been watching for a while, you guys know that we're a startup bison ranch. We started out with three animals. We're up to five now, and we got plans to expand our herd. In fact, we're going to expand to two herds eventually, but that's going to take a couple of years now. But eventually, we are going to also get to the point where we are producing meat. We're going to have jerky, steaks, loin. You're going to have a whole animal if you want. But it's going to take us a while to get to that point. Now, Kim and I were talking to some of our friends the other day, and we were talking about how healthy bison is, especially compared to other types of meats out there. And we got to thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe some of our viewers would like to learn about some of the nutritional value of bison meat compared to other meats and what makes it so special. Right? Yeah. Whoa. The purpose of this video is to address one simple question. Is bison good for you? Actually, it's going to address two questions. Is it good for you? And also, how does it compare to other types of meat out there? Now, in order to answer the first question, it's necessary to go into the basic history of the American bison itself. Now, I'm not going to go into a real detailed narrative about this, but if you're interested, check out our video, The American Bison, A Brief History. We go into a lot more detail about the origins of the American bison and how they came to be in North America. All right, so let's go back to the original question. Is bison meat good for you? The answer is very simple. Yes, it's very good for you. Well, if it's so good for you, why can't I find it anywhere? How come I don't see it at my local grocery store? Why can't I find it down at the street corner market? Where exactly can I find bison meat? Well, to answer that question, there's a couple of things you need to know about the American bison. These animals flourished on the North American continent for thousands of years, reaching numbers in the tens of millions. They were everywhere. But due to extreme overhunting, which pretty much boils down to slaughter and loss of their habitat from the settlement of the American frontier, these animals were nearly wiped out. They almost went extinct. By the late 1800s, it's estimated there were less than 500 of these animals left in the wild. It's absolutely staggering how quickly these animals were killed off and how close they came to getting wiped out forever. Herds so large they could stretch to the horizon had been reduced to a few small pockets of wild animals. But thanks to efforts by independent ranchers, various preservationists, and tribal efforts, these animals have made a strong comeback. They're no longer on the verge of extinction. In fact, we have nearly 500,000 animals in North America today. These animals are managed in federal herds and by independent ranchers, and that means they are regularly harvested for the market. So bison meat is definitely available on the market, it's just not quite as common as other types of meat out there. And to understand why, we're going to take a look at a few more numbers here. But before we do that, I just want to take a second and say thank you for watching our video. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button down below. It shows your support and helps motivate us to make more videos. Bison have been in North America for a long time. So compared to them, the domesticated cattle and cows in this country are relatively newcomers. But when you look at the numbers, it's not hard to see why cattle have bison beat hands down when it comes to popularity on the market. In January 2024, there were 87.2 million head of cattle, including calves, in the United States. Now, incidentally, this is the smallest number since 1951. In the year 2022, there were 34.3 million cattle slaughtered for market in the United States. That's a lot of cattle. So when you got 87.2 million cows versus not even 500,000 bison, clearly cattle are the winner in this category. 
It's also worth noting that in 2023, nearly 80,000 head of bison were harvested for market. Now compare that to 34.3 million head of cattle. Again, clearly, cattle is the winner. Beef is a huge industry in the United States, and you don't have to walk out your front door too far to see evidence of this. I mean, there's a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's just about on every street corner these days. So it's definitely out there. Beef is very, very popular. Well, it's popular because it's very common, far more common than bison. So if you think the beef industry is impressive, check out some of these other numbers. In 2021, 129 million pigs were slaughtered for market. And every year in the United States, 202 million chickens are slaughtered every single day. 202 million every day. Bison have a long way to go to catch up to these numbers. So while they might be lacking in quantity, bison definitely make up for it in quality. Let's take a look at the nutritional value of bison meat, and we're going to do this by comparing it to beef and chicken. As you can see in the diagram, we're going to be looking at fat and protein content, total calories, cholesterol level, and iron and vitamin B12. Now, I'm not going to bore you by going over all these numbers individually. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But when you compare bison to beef and chicken, you can see that bison clearly has more nutritional value. So sorry cattle, you might have won some of the battles, but in the end, bison won the war. I mean seriously, this is a no-brainer here. Bison has 26% more iron than beef. It's got 87% less fat, and it's got 8% less cholesterol than chicken. Bison meat has 766% more vitamin B12 than chicken. That's huge. It's got 32% less fat than chicken, and compared to beef, bison has 98% less calories. There's no denying it, bison meat is good for you. I think the National Bison Association says it best. By making bison a regular part of your diet, you are eating a delicious, nutrient-dense protein that is healthy for you. In doing so, you are helping to restore bison herds to the landscape and promoting regenerative ranching practices. So not only are you eating better, but you're also indirectly helping bison producers manage their herds. Now I know there's some folks out there that might balk at the idea of eating such a majestic creature, but it is a necessary part of the management of these awesome animals. Okay Ron, we got it. Bison meat is good for us and we're helping to manage the herds, but where can I find it? Well, I would start by checking out the website for the National Bison Association. Not only are you going to find out how they're helping to restore these amazing animals, but you're also going to find numerous links to where you can find bison meat and also how to prepare it. Since I'm from Minnesota, I'm also partial to the Minnesota Bison Association website. Here you'll find all kinds of information not only on bison, but also some very good recipes for preparing your bison meat. I also recommend checking out the Honest Bison. Here you can find a variety of meats and they'll deliver right to your front door. Or do like we do and just visit some of your local bison ranches. We got these pieces from our friends over at the Hidden Bison Ranch. I can honestly say that nothing compares to fresh bison hot off the grill. It's not only good for you, it's absolutely delicious too. Well folks, we hope you enjoyed the video. As we've shown, eating bison meat on a regular basis is not only good for you personally, but it also helps in the restoration of these amazing animals. We'll see you guys next time.